so well guys this is the final episodes of this video and this video and in this final episode i'm just gonna make a continuous damage for the fire so like when the player enter the fire the player will take damage like each second or each several second if you want to and i'm just gonna create um this um, rep signal effect where the player take damage with the fire okay so let's get started i'll provide this um fake net assets in the description below you can check it out okay so let's start with the fire just click this fire and you go to this right hand side and click open blueprint editor all right so uh, in this um part we just have to modify it we have to create another function let's call it take player damage It requires one input. It's um, of type BP third person character, and so let's name it player reference. Okay, so you drag it off from this, and you drag first, uh, drag the spear here, and then you type in this overlapping actor spear. And for the for the other, just plug it into player reference. If it's true, I will um, take the damage of the player. Take damage here. Okay. Okay. For sake of simplicity, we just gonna drag it off here and promote to fireball. Let's call it fire damage. Then I'm gonna go back to even grabs and oh sorry, we have to first set the fire damage. Let's say to fifteen. Okay. Then, in here, we just have to set timer by function name. For the time, let's put it to one and looping to enable. Uh, and then just click this and uh, copy the name of it and just plug it in in a function name here. Then we're gonna have to deal with the uh, on component and overlap. Click on plus icon, and then on this. Uh, we just have to copy and paste it first okay like this then we're gonna we're just gonna clear timer by function name right do the same thing for a function name now you should good to go let's try it oops i don't think thing is not working okay so just remember that um, if you create a function, you should not create or input when you're using the set timer by function name because it's not gonna work. So instead, we just uh, we have to uh, promote this to variable. Let's call it player references. Okay, let's plug it in right there, and you're gonna go back to the function, and here instead of using from this input, let's delete it. Okay, and change it to our player reference right here. Very easy. So boom, let's test it out. It should be working right now, perfectly fine. Yeah, look at that. And when Pellery leaves the fire, it will take another image. Like that. Yeah, that's it. So let's continue for the uh, on hit effect and using this thick map effect and go to our blueprints and UI right click on it and add a new widget blueprint let's call it WBP underscore on hit effect okay and create a canvas panel plug in an image make it full screen by going to the anchors and hold control on the keyboard and click on this like full screen button here we're gonna set the image to fake net. Alright, fake net. Okay. And then let's create a new animation here. Let's call it fade up. Still gonna this. And then under render opacity, you set it from one. Just click on the this plus icon here. Uh let's make it on two seconds and we're gonna make it to zero. Just like that. Okay. Go back to even grab and on the side out, just play on your region. 
Actually, let's make a delay of one second. Okay. And then make another delay of two seconds of the duration of the animation. Then we remove from error. Like that. Okay. You have to make sure that this image is set to one by default, not zero. And go back to our BP third person character and on take the image here. I'm just gonna create widget on this false branch. WBP on hit effect and on add to support. Just like that. As you can see, now you get this. Um, on hit effect. Thing you can modify with the value of the opacity. Thing is to to of this. Right, that's it. Okay, I think that's it for this video. Let me know if you have any comments or suggestion. I'll see you in the next video, guys. Bye bye.